So your app works with data. The data is about courses at the university. Like we've been doing in a lot of our class design problems, we have a model for this data. That model is in the models directory and it's called summary. So let's look at that. Of all the code that's contained in this project, this may be the piece that you find the most familiar and the most comforting because it's very similar to things that we've done together um, on homework problems. This is essentially a data model. Um, it's got a bunch of private fields and public getters, uh, typically. There really aren't any setters because the, this information doesn't change after it's been loaded. But we have quite a few getters for different parts. So, you know, and, and this is for course summary. So a course summary contains a year, a semester, a department, a number, a title. Um, we have an empty constructor here, and this is because uh, we deserialize into this class using Jackson. Remember JSON? We'll get there. Um, we have a full constructor that sets all the fields. We have an equals method that we've overwritten um, that sets fields like the, uh, you know, that's, that, that uses the year, semester, department, and number to establish a quality. We actually don't need to use the title. Um, and then we have a hash code method that also uses those. The hash code method we'll talk about a little bit in the future. Most of this looks pretty, uh, pretty uh, familiar to you. One of the things that this model does do is it implements this interface called sorted list adapter dot view model. This is from a library that we're using to display that list. These methods you should not need to mess with. They're, they're correctly implemented out of the box. However, there's a couple of methods down here that you might want to take a look at. First of all, there's a problem here, which is that we haven't written some check style doc, some Java doc for these methods yet, which is something that you'll have to do in order to pass check style. Um, but these methods do two things. The first method is a comparator method. So if you remember the comparable interface, that was something I implemented on a class. The comparator interface is a method that takes two instances of a class and compares them together. So right now, and this is a lambda function, right? It's a, it's a lambda expression. Right now we're returning zero, which means that they should be at the same place in the list. And that's one of the reasons why our, when we start up our app, the list of numbers is not in order. So that's something that you might need to think about improving. The next thing down here is a filtering function. These are both static functions, by the way, as you can see. The filtering function takes a list of courses, a text to look for, and should return a filtered list that only contains courses that match that text. So again, this is something else that you may need to work on because right now, if I type stuff into this box, nothing happens, right? The list of courses should be filtered by that information somehow to allow me to search and narrow down what courses I'm interested in, but it doesn't work. And so these two methods are things that you might need to look at. You will, in future parts of the MP, implement some of your own data models. Uh, you'll need to extend this a little bit for the next part. And then for the third part, uh, you'll do a little bit more work here. Um, but you know, whenever we work with data, we create these Java classes that model that data. Some of the other Java classes in this program do other things. Some of them implement functionality. Some of them are designed to interact with Android in certain well-defined ways. But this class really is a data model. It's, it's designed to hold information about a course and then allow that information to be used in a couple of various places throughout the app.